Hi there, and welcome back to another episode of Mathematics Making Sense. Today's topic is, how is addition related to subtraction? And so we're going to talk about how when we have two add-ins together and a sum, how is that related to a subtraction sentence? So you're going to um, see something like this come home if you've not already by your second grader. And this is a visual, another strategy that we use. It's called a bar model, where we have the two add-ins. And you'll see them visually separating the larger one with the smaller number, putting together to make the whole. All right, so this is called the bar model right here. And as I mentioned before, you'll have a number on one side, a number on the other side, when joined together we know that they equal that sum. This serves as a great visual for subtraction because it has the whole fact family here. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about using the bar model. For instance, let's take the math sentence here of nine plus five. So we have two add-ins, nine plus five. Now your second grader has likely already talked about the make a 10 strategy or using doubles. Well, in this case, we're going to use the bar method. So let's go ahead and start. And this is how I've taught mine. We'll start by drawing an open bar. So we have the open bar. Which addend is larger? So which is the larger number? The 9. So we're going to separate our bar. On the larger side, we'll go ahead and write the 9. On the smaller side, we're going to write the 5, because we know that 9 is greater than 5. Well, that doesn't really help me solve 9 plus 5. It's just giving me a visual right now of larger and smaller add-ins, right? So I still have my students use their strategies. So I know that I can decompose. And in this case, I'm going to go with the make a 10 strategy. So I'm going to make 1 and I'm going to make 4, right? And my 9 and my 1 is my 10, plus 4 is 14. So I know that, right? Excellent. The bar method, my 14, would go right up top, showing, or on the bottom, it, it really doesn't matter, but it's basically showing that these three numbers are related. So how is that related to subtraction? This is one of the visual models I've given my students to help understand and also use appropriate vocabulary. Eventually they're going to learn that subtraction is the inverse operation of addition. So we do talk about it. We also talk about what does inverse mean? Well, they know it would be the opposite. So if I have my person standing up, if they were doing a headstand, well, they were inverted. They are inverse. So let's go ahead and apply that to our math strategies. Now I have, remember, my 9 plus 5 equals 14. Here's my bar model of my 9 and my 5. Two things we work through in class, the related fact, inverse, it's just the opposite. So I, I will start with my 14, then I will subtract 5, and it will equal 9. Now we haven't gone into our counting back strategies or any other strategies just yet. Right now the emphasis is on building conceptual understanding that addition and subtraction are in fact related, much like maybe a brother and a sister. They're not the same, but they're under the same roof. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps.